Hi everyone, it's Shalise Kendrick here with the Shannon Jones team at Kelly Williams Coastal Properties. And I'm here with another episode of Home Buying 101. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to get financially ready to buy a home. So the first step is to know and monitor your credit score. And there are a ton of different ways to do this. You can get a free report from the credit bureaus once a year. You can sign up for Identity IQ or Credit Karma. And those things will keep you posted on your score. They'll even tell you how to improve it. And even some will do a little credit simulator so that you can say, you know, if I paid off this debt, then that would boost my score this much. Or what if I inquired about this? What would that do to my score? So just keep really good tabs on that. There's a ton of different ways to do it. Find the one that works best for you. The second thing you'll wanna do is pay down your debts. Because if you are paying, for example, a car payment that had an old interest rate based off an old credit score, you could possibly save some money, lower that rate, and instead of paying so much in car payment, you can redistribute that money to your house payment. And if you're able to do that, that affords you a lot more house. So try to get rid of any payments that you possibly can, any financial obligations that you have that you might not need, try to get rid of that. So, and the third thing you'll want to do is save for your down payment and closing cost. A lot of people still think you need 20%. That's not the case. You don't even need 10. You can have as little as three and a half percent for the down payment, but don't forget about those closing costs. That might be an additional 3%. So save for that. If you get pre-approved for an amount, say for example, 2,700, you might practice living as though you're paying a $2,700 mortgage and see if that's comfortable for you because what you're comfortable with and what you're pre-approved for might be two different numbers and you might want to learn that before you actually uh, commit to a mortgage. So save your money. If you have any questions, we're always here to help and be a resource for you. If you would like to be pointed into different resources that will allow you to figure out what a good monthly would look like based on this purchase price, there's a ton of them out there. We have a couple that we can refer you that work really well. Thanks again for watching. I'm Shalise of the Shannon Jones team. If you have any questions about the process or getting financially ready to buy your first home, please let me know. We're happy to be a resource. Thanks again. Bye.